possession or control of, which the defendant intends to introduce as evidence in the defense case in chief or rebuttal at the trial. You think that there's some kind of lack of clarity about what that means? Is that what you're representing to the court? Your Honor, I'm representing that that was the position that was taken. That was what was analyzed in the cases. That is the basis for our position. And have you heard Mr. Steele argue two or three times before that that's not at all what Georgia law means? We've not made this argument before. I don't mean in writing. Y'all have not had any discussion whatsoever in front of Judge Glanville about As I have said in my motion, Your Honor, what we have argued, the state has said, Your Honor, they have a duty to disclose this. This is stuff that we are entitled. And Mr. Steele has said no, inciting the Georgia statute. He said we do not. I have never asserted. I've never made this distinction. I've never said that it, that case in chief means if it's being presented as impeachment and substantive evidence. I've never made that. I've never made that argument in a written or oral. All right. Well, I would like for you to take your duty of candor to the court with a little bit more seriousness in the future. Respectfully, I take it very seriously. Okay. So anyway, we'll be What it do, well, hey, this judge ain't playing with the state. Everything they was doing with Glanville, she ain't going for it. She ain't playing all that trying to enter evidence in right then and there. No, you got to already have that shit in. And she like, hold on. Y'all been doing this the whole time in this trial? What the hell? See, Love was playing with Glanville old balls. So Glanville didn't give a damn about how much time it took and all that. He ain't had nothing but time. The only thing he could think about is when he get back in there in that chamber with Miss Love, the way she jiggled them balls, nigga, he didn't give a damn. Nigga, he was planning on, God damn it, finding them guilty even if the jury didn't. If the jury didn't even find them guilty, Glanville was going to find something. And still in here raising hell. So YSL still and this new judge ain't playing no games. And she see exactly what Steele and Shark and all the rest of them been going through with Glanville. She hate to say it, you know what I mean? Because I guess there's like some type of little brother sisterhood type shit. But in the back of her mind, she like, was he really letting me help us get away with this shit? Did they really like just get away with just anything? Like was they really in here building the case as they go? That's what she need to be asking Glanville. Would you let them build a case as they go? Because love sound like she used to ride the slow bus. She got to show me some certificates or something. She got to show me some degrees. She sound like she rode the little short bus, man. I'm sorry. You got to, nah, man. I think Fonnie Willis put her there in that position, man. Straight up, man. You can make diplomas and shit. I know Africans that make diplomas. You know what I mean? Like college, whatever. That's what that hoe did. Because she acting slow as hell. And the shit she was doing, she can't get away with. This shit over with. This case done. She ain't playing with them at all. The shit they was getting, no, you can't do that. So you know what it is, you know. Hey, love. I know you like, God damn. Nigga, we, we bought this case. And here this helper coming here regulating shit. Exactly. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. Still ain't playing with them neither, man. All right, subscribe to the channel, man. Leave your comments. I'm out. What Ms. Love is saying is give me your work product. If I'm not going to use it the way I understand the law, unless you tell me differently, I'm not giving it to the state. So that's my understanding as well. So when she says, you know, Mr. White, and I heard what you said, they didn't use it. Why would you ever get it? That's exactly right. I hardly cross-examined Mr. White. But the state is telling me to give it. They went so far as Ms. Love called our investigator and tried to get involved and break the attorney camp. 
She told our investigators, she didn't call me. Give me any recordings that you have of Mr. Bean, then the investigator's skill. So he must have said, I wasn't on the phone, but Ms. Lovin reported it to Judge Glanville, who said that was appropriate. He shouldn't have given you anything. Said Mr. Steele's investigators obstructing us. This is so wrong of the prosecution. Four times I've given the same case. Four times I gave that green case. Four times, three times Judge Glanville ruled. In addition to that, there's factual, not only, you know, am I rejecting, I, I am never taking Ms. Love's proffer. Okay, so she says that I said, I don't talk with Ms. Love, by the way, if you didn't know that, <laughs> so, I never said anything to her. But that I Is said- Is there somebody on the state's case that you are able to talk to? Yeah, okay. Ms. Willis. All right, well. Can y'all explain to me <laughs> how you are dealing with a large volume of what ought to be motions in limine while in the midst of trial? And still being in any way efficient with the jury's time, you're not, essentially. Okay. All right. I, that's just not practical. I mean, we're going to change that going forward. And I'm not going to say I need you to know everything tomorrow because I know it's a voluminous case. But y'all been putting this case together for two years. And you ought to know, I mean, you clearly know what witnesses you're going to be using. And you've given me, you know, kind of a very broad idea of what exhibits you intend to use with those witnesses. But I don't know that if, if we're just every other week saying, okay, <laughs> let's, let's, let's figure out all of the evidentiary issues that have to do with the next two weeks worth of witnesses, we can do that in one day on a Friday. We just can't. So we're not going to be able, I mean, we all know that we've got this week and we know that uh, the jury has already been told before I became involved that they essentially have the week of, um, what is it, August, August 19th out? So, you know, this week might be taken up pretty much with sorting out the two things I just mentioned and then sorting out all of the evidence that goes along with Mr. Copeland because he's our next witness up. Bow your head down, nigga. Humble yourself before I feel threatened and start whooping your ass. 